What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Kayla from All Day ABA and my mission is to make behavior analysis fun and accessible to clients, therapists, and even supervisors. Today we are going to talk about B5 in the 5th edition task list which covers schedules of reinforcement. Click the subscribe button and turn on notifications to help grow this channel and to stay up to date on the latest videos. If you haven't already watched the other videos for the 5th edition task list yet, feel free to do so after this. In this video, I'm going to teach you about the different types of reinforcement schedules. I'm going to break them down so that they're a little bit easier to understand. Let's get started. A fixed interval schedule of reinforcement involves providing reinforcement after a specified period of time passes. Think about salaries and paydays. A lot of people who are employed get paid on a regular schedule, and this is an example of a fixed interval schedule of reinforcement. A fixed ratio schedule of reinforcement involves providing reinforcement after a specified number of responses. A parent might give their child some playtime on the iPad after every three homework assignments that they complete. This would be an example of a fixed ratio schedule of reinforcement. A variable interval schedule of reinforcement involves providing reinforcement after a variable or average amount of time passes. A personal trainer may give a client rest time after an average of five minutes of exercise. The first rest might occur after three minutes. Then the second rest might occur after seven minutes, then another rest after four minutes, and a final rest after six minutes. If you average these intervals, you will get a result of five minutes. That is an example of variable interval schedule of reinforcement. A variable ratio schedule of reinforcement involves providing reinforcement after a variable or average number of responses. A boss may use a variable ratio schedule of eight to reinforce task completion by an employee. The boss might send a thank you email to the individual after 10 completed tasks, and then might say great job after another six completed tasks, and so on and so forth. If you average 10 and six together, you get a result of eight. And that is an example of a variable ratio schedule of reinforcement. Leave a comment below and explain what type of schedule of reinforcement casino slot machines use and why this type of reinforcement schedule is so resistant to extinction. In an alternative schedule of reinforcement, reinforcement is provided after either a ratio or interval criterion has been met, whichever comes first. A compound schedule of reinforcement consists of two or more types of schedules of reinforcement. A concurrent schedule of reinforcement has the following. Two or more contingencies, simultaneously or independently, for two or more behaviors. In a conjunctive schedule of reinforcement, reinforcement is provided after both a ratio and interval criteria have been met. Extinction involves withholding reinforcement in the presence of a particular behavior with the goal of eliminating that behavior entirely. Please remember that extinction procedures can be traumatizing. We need to make sure that our practices are trauma-informed. Additionally, if a client does consent to extinction procedures being used, then we need to teach a functionally equivalent replacement behavior, meaning it would serve the same function as the original behavior. The outcome of a change schedule of reinforcement is contingent upon completing all components in order and successfully. A mixed schedule of reinforcement involves utilizing two or more schedules of reinforcement in a random or alternating order without correlated discriminative stimuli. A multiple schedule of reinforcement involves using two or more schedules of reinforcement in a random or alternating order. A progressive schedule of reinforcement is thinned systematically after each presentation of reinforcement, regardless of the individual's behaviors. A tandem schedule of reinforcement is the same as a change schedule of reinforcement, but does not include any correlated discriminative stimuli. Discriminative schedules of reinforcement include multiple schedule of reinforcement, change schedule of reinforcement. Non-discriminative schedules of reinforcement include mixed schedule of reinforcement, tandem schedule of reinforcement. If you'd like me to make additional videos discussing more of these schedules of reinforcement in depth, please leave a comment below. 
If you enjoyed this video, please share it with others so they can learn more about the field of applied behavior analysis. Check out the All Day ABA Study Materials Facebook group if you would like to see more of me during your time online. If you are looking for flashcards to study these terms, I have linked my flashcards bundle below. Visit the All Day ABA blog if you would like to read more behavior analytic content after watching these videos. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!